It's September 1st. I have already been on a little bit of a health journey and I am continuing that into September. So I've updated my habit tracker and I am doing a cortisol lowering challenge for 30 days. High cortisol levels make it hard to lose weight and I'm trying to lose like 50 pounds. So I think that I have high cortisol levels. I exhibit a lot of the symptoms of that. So I saw this challenge on TikTok and I thought, why the heck not? Like it can't hurt. So in my habit tracker, I am doing things like making sure I'm getting 10K steps in a day, drinking at least a half gallon of water. I know it usually should be a full gallon, but I wanted to be a little bit more realistic with myself. Doing an extra workout at least five days a week. Then for the habits of the cortisol challenge, part of that is getting in a walk every day, which I am if I'm doing the 10K steps. Then you're supposed to eat breakfast within 30 minutes to 60 minutes of waking up. And then you're supposed to drink your coffee after you eat breakfast. Or caffeine, doesn't have to be coffee, but drink that after breakfast. Then you're supposed to be getting out into the sunshine, which I do during my walks. Um, I'm supposed to be eating more protein. Then there's some kind of exercises you can do to stimulate the vagus nerve. I don't know if I said that right, but I'm gonna tag the original creator so you can go watch her original video. I'm also taking something called a chill pill, which is funny to me, um, but it has like a bunch of ingredients in it that are supposed to help with lowering cortisol, making you calm and in a better mood. So these are all of my new habits for this month. I wanted to share them to document it all. If you have any new habits that you are trying to stick to, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see how this cortisol challenge goes for me and how I feel throughout it, make sure you are following my page.